Hi, my name is Karuna. I'm studying bioengineering. This summer, I had the pleasure of working under the guidance of Dr. Red Whitaker. I'm from Georgia Tech. I'm studying computer science. I worked with Dr. Tretsky on a comparison between the Kabuki and the Create mobile platforms. I'm Caroline, and this summer, I'm studying mechanical engineering here at the Robotics Institute. This summer, I'm working in the biorobotics lab at the Robotics Institute under the guidance of Dr. Howie Chossett and Dr. Matthew Travers. This summer, I was part of the Robotic Institute Summer Scholar Program, and I worked with Dr. Cameron Rivieri. Hi, I'm Philip. Uh, I study computer science and information technology. Uh, in these two months, I worked with uh, Professor Paul Sherry. So this summer, I worked with Dr. Abhinav Gupta in the vision group within the Robotics Institute. Uh, it's been actually a very interesting process because I'm, I'm, I'm not working with a graduate student, I'm instead working directly with a professor. So it's been both very, very difficult and very, very challenging, but also really exciting. We're hoping to explore the newly found locations on the moon called Moon Skylights. So my project for this summer is taking uh, matching cuboids using visual classifiers to identify which cuboids fit into a two-dimensional image and which ones don't. The main challenges of this project is that we really don't know what to expect from the moon aside from their small amount of data that we already have. The iRobot Create is a popular mobile platform in robotics education. We wrote a Kabuki driver for the Tekasu framework where we can test both robots in the same trajectories and see which one's more accurate. We'll start with a naive Bayes theory and then we'll go into either Gaussian sorting or a vector support analysis. I take a cuboid, fit a mask to it, extract features um, such as color and texture and identify if that cuboid is in fact a cuboid. <laughs> My challenge is to come up with several prototypes that show the proof of concept of every stage of our survey platform. So as a bioengineer, it's pretty an interesting niche because we're using a lot of different applications, mechanical, electrical, all towards the application of biology, I suppose. Uh, my project is called the Heartlander. So what I'm doing is I'm putting electrodes on the foot of the robot, and I'm using that to translate into um, measurements of the infarct or healthy tissue, and then using that, the robot can decide whether it needs to deliver drug. In the biorobotics lab, they have the uh, modular snake robots. Um, they're very useful for going deep into pipes or inspecting uh, disaster relief scenarios. Uh, but a lot of times you have to be able to get the end of the snake up into some high position cavernous area and that becomes very difficult. So, so right now I'm working with three different prototypes. I have a lot of background in biology, but I got to learn a lot about mechanical and electrical design too. So I use things like SolidWorks, Arduino microprocessor programming, um, a lot of basic stuff, but when you put it together, you really get to create a novel application for a very meaningful purpose, which is probably the coolest thing about robotics and applying it to medical applications. Uh, my project's based on jerk trajectory minimization for snake robots. The goal is to raise uh, the end effector of the snake or the head up as high as possible in order to perform tasks that normally would be very difficult in uh, highly dynamic situations. I worked with Paul Sherry on the cooperative robotics for uh, airboats. The project's idea is to use a fleet of very inexpensive boats to do things like water monitoring and response to flood. Our main goal to make this airboat is to make a low-cost uh, robotic system and they're good for environmentally monitoring and doing other things like testing water uh, for oxygen, electricity. Uh, electronic conductive, dissolved oxygen, uh, and uh, the pollution condition about the river. And what I've done is I've created one big interactive map that takes a lot of data from a lot of different sources, like the DEP, the EPA, USGS. My project for the summer was involved with getting the airboats to actually drive itself into the recharge station without any human interaction. This would allow the airboats to do things continuously over a long-term period. So mine actually works with computer vision, in which uh, the airboat's camera is actually facing and looking towards out the river. And we use this vision in order to drive the airboat into the recharge station. We traverse to find out where they are in the image, finding the angle, which we use a PID controller to actually direct the boat into the middle of the balls so that it will actually drive the airboat into the middle of the recharge station. And this tool is also, is not just for the environmental side, it's also a really good educational tool. So I've been working along with an organization here in Pittsburgh called RiverQuest. So this organization has bought some of these robotic boats. 
and they're gonna actually let their students run these boats and actually test the water and get environmental data. He was there every day. He comes in and we, we tell him what we did for the day and what have we accomplished so far. Um, if we have any questions, we ask them and it's been since we get in a lot of mentoring, it's been great. So the biorobotics lab, which I worked in, it's, it might be a little different than maybe your home institution's uh, research lab. There, there were a lot of people in the lab. Uh, this summer, I think we maxed out around 30 students working in and out. At any given time, if I had any type of question, there was someone there who knew how to answer it and knew exactly where to point me to get the resources I needed to, to solve my problems and get my research done. I had a huge team of different people where I could bounce and throw ideas off of, which was a great it was a great time and had an awesome time being able to have people to work with and collaborate with. So I've met some very cool people at Robotic Institute Summer Scholars. Um, not only are they fun on weekends, but they're fun on weekdays as well. And they do some very cool things in their own lives. My lab mates, we are we got we got really close together. Um, there's there's people from all over the place. Uh, the culture diversity has really made an impact on uh, the stuff we've been able to do. I'm from Pittsburgh, so a lot of the students, the other summer scholars, came to me asking me for ideas. So it was really cool as an insider to kind of show people the area. Um, outside, it was great. We got together on weekends. Uh, we went whitewater rafting, which was an amazing experience, getting pushed off the boats, going down the rapids. I definitely suggest doing that. So we've been to the Pirates game, which is a must if you come to Pittsburgh. Uh, every week, they had a local race series down at the track and they actually have a bike track down in Pittsburgh, which is a lot of fun. I got to race uh, every Wednesday night. We also get together when you go to the museum. There's uh, the fireworks. Fourth of July here is amazing in downtown with beautiful thing on the skyline and just seeing tons of fireworks for almost a straight hour. 